pretty big game for me today. What was going on? Were you just feeling it today? Just kind of one of them games? Uh, I just wanted to come in, um, you know, make the right plays and make the you know right decision. Uh, that's been a you know up and down um, thing for me, making the right decision and uh, my shot selection. So I just wanted to come in the game and do what's best for the team. I this way. I thought you guys seemed a little bit more loose in warm than maybe we've seen in the last couple of weeks. Would you agree with that? Did you notice that at all? Is that, and if so, is that maybe kind of a broad product of what has happened over the last couple of days, kind of coming together? Yeah, we definitely want to that emphasis uh, on you know, uh, coming in, being disciplined, uh, taking everything serious, including the warm-ups. And definitely, you know, we, we made that a, a key for, for us to, you know, put ourselves in a position to be ready for the game. What were the last couple of days like leading up to this? Um, you, know, uh, you know, we took the L uh, that Wake Forest, and, you know, we had that long talk after, you know, the game. And, um, we also had another, you know, uh, players only meeting, and, I feel like we, you know, address, um, you know, things that we needed to work on, things that, you know, was holding us back. And I feel like, you know, once we did that, uh, you know, we cleared the air and uh, we, we had a different mindset coming into practice the next day. And so um, coming into this game, uh, we, we felt great because we had two good practices. And, um, you know, we wanted to play hard, play smart, and play together. When was that meeting? Uh, the day after, uh, the day of practice. Who led practice. that meeting? Uh, RJ. Did you, did you guys feel like you kind of had to hit a low like Wake Forest to kind of finally click in? Um, yeah, I feel like everything happened for a reason, and uh, we probably did need that uh, for us to, you know, uh, we probably had to hit rock bottom to, you know, feel what we was feeling and um, address certain problems that needed to be addressed. And um, I feel like, you know, it worked out for the best, and uh, we just got to build off this win. Was it clear today? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> when you clear the air like that, you can go one or two ways, and, and, and it went a positive way for you guys. I, I guess you got to feel good, good about that. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we, we're grown men, and uh, we're a team, and we love each other. So uh, once we can do that, and, you know, uh, move past it, and you see the result when it came out. You and, you and RJ posted that picture, kind of seemed like you were trying to send a message that you guys are cool. What were, what were you kind of trying to say there? Uh, you, know, was, you know, rumors came out. And, you know, it just that's just what it was. Um, you know, you know when we when you lose and they try to throw anything against you to you know break us apart and uh, you know me and RJ being good, uh, we talked about uh, you know what we had to talk about and uh, you know I'm not gonna really speak on it, but uh, me and RJ being good, you know that's my brother and I love him and uh, you know. Um, going forward, um, you know, we just told each other, you know, we, we, we're not going to trip off, you know, what other people got to say about us. Okay, early in the game, they were packing their defense in. You guys are able to make some shots. How's it open up the rest of your offense and the driving lanes and helping out Armando? They were soaring early in the game. What is this ability to knock down shots from your your offense? Uh, it opens everything up um, because they got to kind of stay on us and it opens drives up and, um, you know, jump off for Armando. And so uh, once, we, once the three is falling, um, it helps us um, throughout our whole offense. What well, was it? Like out there, I mean, for, for most threes you hit in the game so far this season, what was that feeling like? It kind of felt like old last year a little bit. Yeah, it felt great, um, you know, when you got it going, especially and then just doing it with my team. Um, I feel like everybody kind of had it going at, at one point. And, um, just you know, seeing everybody, you know, have fun and um, you know, smile and you know, get hyped. That, that's, that's the best thing for me. Yeah, for most fun game of the year so far. You think in yeah, terms of everybody sure. playing together? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Caleb, how much did the meeting that you guys had after the game the other day up in Winston and, and the practices that led up to it and just kind of getting all the everything out in the open and in the air, how much did that help and contribute to tonight? It helped a lot. Um, I feel like it needed to happen uh, for us to get to, you know, where we want to get to, which is a national championship. Um, and, you know, our back, we, we playing like our backs against the wall from, the, from, from now on. And, um, I feel like, like, like I said earlier, um, things needs to be addressed and uh, we got it off our chest. Um, and now, now we're moving past it, and now we, you know, we got to build off this win. I know you don't know much about Miami coming up on Monday night, but you got a, another game in a, in, a, in a couple of days here, or a day and a half. Or, so just talk about just getting back out there on Monday night. Yeah, we're going to you know, watch film tomorrow and you know, um, talk about what we have to do uh, to guard them, to uh, how we're going to get our offense off. Um, we'll definitely be prepared for on Monday. How do you ball up this performance and, and move forward with the way you played today? Uh, we're going to enjoy it. Uh, today, we're going to enjoy it. And we'll back like that tomorrow. But how do you ball up the way you played offensively? Like, how do you make that translate to, to Miami? To, to Just state? stacking the days. Um, I feel like coming in tomorrow, I'll be real disciplined, be real, you know, listen to the details um, and uh, stay locked in. Kevin, when you have games where you're red hot like this, can you tell from a pregame that, like, you know, the vibes are there, or is it something that just kind of happens organically? Um, I knew coming in that, you know, we all were going to have a great game. 
Um, I knew because you know what we what we did. We had um, you know team bonding at uh, Dewey spot last night, and uh, just to you know being together, um, just you know helped us you know just enjoy each other's company. And um, I feel like you know coming into this game, we felt great. And um, I, like I said, I knew coming into the game that we were all gonna have a great game. Can you tell me about the team only meeting uh, after practice on Thursday? How is that different than after the game? Uh, I mean, because it's players, and we, you know, we on the court, um, and so we, you know, we address the issues that you know we we had um, within the team, and you know what we had to you know do going forward as far as you know win games. And um, you know, I'm not really gonna go in detail because it is a players only meeting, but uh, we definitely you know built off that, and uh, we we got everything off our chest. Who called the meeting? RJ. RJ. A lot of people talk about the Caleb Love experience. How would you describe the Caleb Love experience? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll let y'all, you know. <laughs> um, I just feel like, you know, I'm just trying to get better each and every game, each and every day, um, making myself a better player and, uh, you know, making myself a better teammate. Armando.